The last time the Dayton Flyers played VCU, they scored just 47 points. The Flyers host that same VCU team in a revenge game tonight. So is Dayton the play? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, let me tell you about a promo we have available at both WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com. Using the promo code JESSE25, you can see right there below, you can get 25% off any all-access package, whether it be one day or one year, from any of the great handicappers at either Wager Talk or SportsMemo.com. You can find me over at SportsMemo, coming off of a tough loss with the Oregon Ducks last night. But we did give you a pair of winners. We had uh, Wisconsin in a revenge game against Rutgers, and we had the under in the Heat versus Mavs in that 2011 NBA Finals rematch. Uh, we're, we got a 5% play up at Sports Memo tonight. You're going to want to use the promo code JESSE25. Get in on that. Let's talk about this big game in the A-10. You got Dayton, a 7.5-point favorite, total sitting at 138. Uh, actually, Dayton opened as a 9-point favorite in this revenge spot. I think the public is all over Dayton here, especially with the leading scorer for VCU. Max Shubla is questionable. He missed the last game with back spasms. And I probably wouldn't touch the side here unless I, I was sure that uh, – that Max Shugla was going to play for VCU. Um, questionable. I, if I had to guess, I would I would guess he's probably going to give it a go. But uh, I'm going to focus in on the total. Sitting at 138, it actually opened at 139. You look at past meetings, I mentioned that uh, Dayton lost 49-47 to at VCU just a month ago. And that low score was uh, not the exception. That was actually the norm. These teams have gone under in five of the last six head-to-head. -head. And uh, BCU's actually had the better of Dayton. They've won seven of the last ten, and they've covered in seven of the last ten head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, been close games in this series. Five of the last seven have been decided by five points or fewer. And uh, neither team has scored 70 points in any of the last four meetings. Dayton has only scored 70 points once in their last 10 against VCU. Uh, Dayton ranks 348th in the country, averaging 66 possessions per game. So one of the slowest paced teams in the entire country. VCU, they're not, not much faster. They average just 68 possessions per game. I'm going to look at Dayton's team total here because, uh, as I mentioned, they've only scored 70 once in the last 10 head-to-head. -head. We've got two very slow teams. We could be expecting a low score in this one. Dayton's uh, team total sitting at 72 and a half. That's uh, a lot better than they normally score against this VCU team. Scored 47 points in the last meeting. That's a, a lot more than 47. I'm fading Dayton here. Go under the team total. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got any comments for me, hit me up in the comments below. Even if it's nasty, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck, and we'll see you again tomorrow.